Hi, welcome to another tutorial from Cut Corner Studio and this tutorial is all about how to create this logo here. Um, first and foremost, if you want to create this logo, um, you're going to need to go back to one of our past tutorials which is how to create the Marvel logo. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with this particular uh, element here, but this one here, I'm going to blitz through this now um, and just show you how I did it. So very quickly, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on one element um, because effectively we've got two elements of this logo here, the Doctor and the Strange, um, and I'm going to basically show you how I did the first bit and then pause the video and complete the second bit, uh, section um, so to speed the tutorial up a little bit. So I'll get started. Very quickly I'm just going to put the cap lock on on my keyboard and I'm just going to write Doctor. Um, what you'll need then is the font for Doctor Strange, which is titled Treacherous Curves. Um, <clears throat> you may need to go and find that somewhere online. I'm not posting that in my file because I've needed a license to get that, um, unfortunately, so I can't really share it with you. Okay, so uh, what I'm now going to do is just go into this color section here to the right, this little arrow that's pointing the left, and I'm going to click gold. I'm now going to select an outline for it. So I'm just going to set that as a stroke and I'm going to increase that to three. So it's nice and thick. Now I've done that, um, and it's a little bit uh, a little bit smaller than a little bit bigger than the original, so I'm just going to size that down a little bit and move into the side so that you can so I've got a bit of space. I'm now going to remove the fill. And I'm going to go to path and stroke to path so that I can actually now start to add gradients and things like that to it and have a bit more control over the uh, the element. I'm now going to drop a gradient through it, a linear gradient, not a um, uh, radial gradient. I'm going to drop that through and I'm going to pick a slightly darker gold for the bottom. I'm going to make that a little bit more visible by picking, selecting this square at the top and pick a lighter gold, yep, so that's now selected that. Now, what I'm now going to do is, <coughs> if we zoom in a little bit uh, closer, what you can see is that there was actually like a, a background to this text. So uh, the way I did that, so if I zoom in here, and I'm going to go object, uh, right click and duplicate, and I'm going to go to path and break apart, and that then creates kind of solid fill, but all the elements are there. So once again, without clicking off um, this element, so it's all the elements are all selected all at once. I'm going to go to Path and Union, stick it all together, and I'm just going to make that go black. And uh, what I could do is go Control and not, and Zero, and just sort of bubble it out a little bit, and then go Object and Lower. So I've got that. In fact, I'm not going to bubble it out because it doesn't look too good. So I'm just going to go Object and Lower, so that's sat behind it. Very quickly, what I'm going to do is go back to my default set of colors, the Inkscape offer, and I am going to drop a gradient through the background. I'm going to make part of the background dark purple, sort of gray purple, and I'm going to make that bit there. That's, I think that's still a little bit too light, so I'll just pull that right up. Okay. <clears throat> and that is how you create the top part of the uh, of the actual logo itself. And what I'm now going to do is go down through the so same process to be able to create the strange section of the logo. And then I will just finish with a few little tricks just to present it. Okay, I've now just uh, created the strange. Uh, the sorry, excuse me. The word strange is part of the uh, logo for Doctor Strange. And now I just want to quickly show you. A couple of presentation tricks to uh, to make it look decent um, when you're finished with it. So I'm just going to select all of that, Control G, and set that aside for now. Um, what I'm now going to also do is delete this, and I'm going to go View and Grid. And what I'm now going to do is put a kind of gradient through the background so it looks um, well presented. So make that go to 100% so it's full fill select my radial gradient this time I'm going to just push that through in the middle or as close to the middle as possible and I am going to select darkest version and just one up bring that in so 
happy with that gradient so it's not too um, doesn't stretch too far out to the edge and what I'm now going to do is just select it and go object lower to bottom I'm going to hold down shift and scale this out a little bit so it's bigger than the page and I'm just going to now align all of this correctly so I've selected strange uh, the word strange I'm going to go to page up here and I'm just going to place that into the middle um, along the vertical axis and then center on the horizontal what I'm now going to do is just place that central on the vertical but rather than stick it right down to the middle of the page it's right on top of that I'm going to click it once more and I'm just going to push down so that it should a bit closer to the word Right, so as you can see, this is all starting to come together. And what I'm now going to do is just very quickly create um, an, a, a very straight line. Select gold again. And I'm going to right click and set stroke as gold. And just in between the words, I'm just going to do the same. Don't be too concerned if you don't select the right gold straight away because I'm just going to convert it all to a path and join it together so it will become the same colour path, stroke to path, then go path, union, and that, that gold will be the same colour. And then all I would then do is take that Marvel logo, I'm just going to duplicate it. Bear in mind that the tutorial is available on YouTube, you just need to go and find it. It's pretty obvious what uh, which tutorial it is, it's a big, big red Marvel logo. Um, and then what I'm going to do, just align that into the middle up my keyboard so that it goes right to the top place that just there take the grid off so you can see it and what I'm now going to do is just close some of these dialog boxes so you can see this happen I'm just going to go file export bitmap and I'm going to just place that on to the desktop okay and I'm now going to right click on the image because there it is there that's what we're working with at the moment we'll right click open with GIMP and what you'll find in the tutorial file that's downloadable from the site um, if you found this on YouTube the actual link to all the resources are found um, in the description of this video so you'll be able to link through to the website and get all the resources that you need um, to do this including links to be able to download the software so I'm now going to go file once that's open open as layers and I'm just going to go into file and pick the high rock resolution click open don't be too perturbed if that just covers the, the um, <coughs> graphic because what we're now going to do is just add an overlay to it so that overlay is a little bit too full so I'm just going to bring that down so it's a little bit softer, it's about 50%. Good file, overwrite. That's now going through. Just a quick gimp. But now, discard the changes, open that up, and there's your Doctor Strange logo done in Inkscape. Um, just a quick pointer as to where to get resources for the future. If you go to cutcorner.co.uk, design tips and tutorials, um, you'll find an absolute ton of, uh, of, of, of resources on there for you to be able to learn how to use the software a little bit more. Um, that Marvel logo tutorial, there it is there. And uh, if I just navigate through to there, you'll be able to see that you've got all the session resources in there too, including all the type uh, fonts that you need for the, uh, for the work. Okay, thank you.